name is Chanel. I am a mother. I am a wife. And I have triple negative breast cancer. This is a story of my last year. This is my life on standby. Just had this, had a phone call from my brother talking to me about coronavirus, been having chats with my dad and stuff as well. And to be honest, it's fucking scary. I feel like everything's been blown out of proportion. I do feel that genuinely. And I feel like at the moment it's still quite small in Australia and, you know, yeah, it's still, it's just bringing back that fear. And I don't like operating in this place, but it's reminding me of when I first kind of got diagnosed and not knowing what to do. At the moment it feels like, do I keep the kids home from school? Does Luke stop working so we're not exposed to this? Do we go in quarantine, you know, quarantine ourselves and stock up on stuff like all the other people are doing, but I actually have more reason to be doing, being in the high risk category. The thought of stopping treatment upsets me because then my chances of reoccurrence are gonna go through the roof. My immune system is shot. I'm frequently going to hospitals and putting myself around people all the time, infect, you know, I don't know who's infected, but going to those places isn't great, let alone going to those places with your immune system shot. So it's just, it feels like another thing at the moment. And it's been good just being able to focus on the one thing, but it's like, uh, I don't know. It's just exhausting and I was crying before, just feeling overwhelmed with it all and knowing what to do and what makes me feel comfortable at this point in time, you know? Well, quarantine really is the only thing that would make me feel comfortable, but then that seems so extreme. And some days it's just like, fuck this shit. Fuck this shit. What a good time to get cancer. Hmm. Is that it? <laughs> <laughs> right. Is yours tight enough? Yes. Okay, a little bit. Alright. I was saying, my dad, actually my brother did the same thing. I had a couple of calls the other day about coronavirus. I think family are concerned about me. So dad was telling me to, not telling me to, he was like, you do what you want, but I think it's a big problem and you should be prepared. What I want to chat to my oncologist about um, on Friday is how long I'm going to be, like, so I've got three weeks of chemo left, but how long I'm going to be in the high risk category for, because I think it still takes quite a while for your body to actually get back to its normal state and then I think even obviously with surgery my body is going to be my immune system is going to be down again because I'll be in recovery and then I've got about a month to recover from surgery and then the radiation will start I need to chat to my specialist obviously but it sounds like it's still going to be quite a while before my immune system is back to any kind of normal really can you take that off can I do this for Chantel? Um, no, you can't take that for Chantel, mate. There's no Pokemon cards at school. Okay, hey, hey, wait for me, please, cuddles. Oh, it's <laughs> heavy. Be kind. Whilst I certainly don't think I am cancer free, and I, there's a still a battle, or you know, I'm still going through it. I just, it can change. You know, this is a really aggressive type of cancer, so, you know. In, in a short while, when I stop the chemotherapy, there's gonna be a period of a month where I'm not gonna have any mainstream treatments at all. 
it's it's alarming being in the high risk category it's scary um and my body's responded so well to it and everything that i've been doing um so we've been getting really good results but the specialists still really want me to continue with treatment but they also understand the current um situation and there's still that part of me that's now kind of wondering like you know is it the chemo being effective is it the other things that we're doing um there's that little fear i guess that if i don't have the chemo is it coming back is it growing um and even though i'm still doing other things with the cannabis oil and food and juicing and meditating and all those other things which are fantastic the chemotherapy does give me a sense of calm in a way because i really do believe that it's 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 been working quite well and as far as the feeling that the drug actually gives you um, it's certainly not nice but knowing that it is helping um, eliminate this cancer it really is this huge love-hate relationship so whilst I'm looking forward to not having it anymore I'm also shit scared about not having it anymore <coughs> We decided yesterday that we would um, isolate due to the coronavirus and so we decided to keep the kids home from school. So the kids are home yesterday. Luke's still going to work at this stage but just being very cautious and washing his hands all the time, staying away from people, wearing gloves. He wears a respirator a lot of the day. So thinking um, and considering there's no cases down here at all at this point that that's okay for now. Um, I think this thing just goes in you know, up and down, up and down at any given moment. And it's very easy to feel like you're doing it all alone. Like, what are you doing, guys, please? I think this whole COVID-19 thing is also making things worse because it's that I'm stuck at home all day, every day with the kids. Stop it. Stop, stop. I can't even get out of the fucking house. But it's just that mental side of knowing I can't go anywhere or hug a friend or just, just get out and do something different. It's like Groundhog Day with me and my thoughts and the kids. And it just goes to show how much that I know that I need connection. Like I need closeness and support in that way. Chanel J. Bryant, 27th of the 4th, 83. Nope. Went and had what I thought was my second last chemo. When I walked in the door, the women there were like, oh, it's your last day, congratulations. I'm like, no, I'm pretty sure it's not. And got them to double check. We were going back and forth and turns out today was my last day of chemo, which is fucking awesome. Um, so feeling very excited about that. There was a lot of back and forth with it and turns out it was me that got my dates wrong. I guess I felt a little bit at risk with the COVID-19 situation, um, but knowing I don't have to go back next week and I did get to finish my full course feels awesome. Um, I'm still kind of in shock. It was weird while we were in there, they were trying to get me to celebrate. And at the same time, I didn't believe what they were actually saying. <laughs> it was the last time. So I was kind of happy, but not at the same time. So now just knowing that it actually is the last one and that I won't be going back in there at all. And I've run the full course is just the best news. So now my immune system can continue to improve and then I've got four weeks before my surgery. So hopefully by then my immune system's recouped a bit, can deal with the surgery, and, and then hopefully it's all on the up from there, and radiation I don't think is gonna affect my immune system too much, so I should be, yeah, feeling better in no time. <laughs> 